Hey, citizen, welcome. It is a weekend today. I'm having a great time. Having a beer, flying with Vulture in 318 in the PTU yet. However, uh, hopefully next week, by words of CAG, maybe the patch will be released if everything goes well in this weekend. So I decided to show you how uh, salvaging works right now. Maybe some uh, new players will also want to know how to make some money. And uh, with that said, uh, I already have uh, found a ship to salvage for you and uh, show you the basics. So let's go there. I need to say a few stuff before we start with all this. Uh, if you are planning to do some uh, long mining sessions, maybe the best part it will be if you do that with a friend who actually has a cargo ship and uh, he can help you with that and he can transport all of the uh, boxes and everything however if you would like to do that by yourself that's also possible keep in mind in the vulture you have limited space only 12 SCUs however you can put more than these 12 uh, SCUs inside the ship and I'm going to go and show you right now how you can do that so let's exit sit and just go down real quick before we start with any other activities and yeah i did die up there so if you look on the left side on the top corner you are going to see also fps counter for those of you who have interest in that now i have no um, uh tractor beam with me i have no tools nothing I'm going to show you how we can craft everything so we can start mining. This here is the ship grid, right? From here it's coming out the box. You can uh, make two boxes before you have to come down here and start moving them. And this is the so-called walking area. You can see the panel here. And if you want to do that by yourself, the salvaging work, I mean, you can actually fill all this space with boxes up to here and you can have in total about 21 boxes in the ship 21 22 depending how much time you want to spend however uh, i found out for myself that 21 boxes is the optimal and this is going to cost or it's going to earn you actually around about 161,000 credits you'll start your heads with uh, the button uh, m as for mining i have it on my uh, game glass I'm using a tablet so i have everything up there when you press the button you're going to be presented with this menu it's going to give you all kind of information on the top part you're going to find cargo and this is uh, every box that you will be filling left and the right side it's going to be the uh, heads and you have two different modes for myself i have to say that i found out that uh, upgrade it's actually better for my use than cinch um, scrap module why is that i can then uh, increase the size of both mining heads to 35 0 35 meters and i and i can actually cover a bigger distance uh, by scrapping which actually makes the things faster for me i will take a better position like this and when I'm scrapping for example I will start doing one very subtle movement which is very simple I'll just position the ship in one place I'm not going to move the ship I'm not going to fly with it and I'll just move with my joystick and I'll just scrape everything by the line right and after that I'll move the ship to the right side and continue that in the upper direction now I have uh, chose what I want to choose I'm going to make a little bit bigger distance now between the two beams. I'm going to separate them at 35 meters. I think that's going to be the perfect one. And if you see the two circles, one of them is showing 83% uh, and the, the, the right one is showing 71%. This is basically the material that you have uh, to salvage from this place. Now, you can already see that I have uh salvaged almost a full box i stopped at 95 uh, at 095 uh, SUs for a reason 
before we start with everything uh i will show you how to make your uh, needed tools so i'm gonna exit the seat and i'm gonna jump real quick down to the extraction place i wish that the i wish that the doors are a little bit uh quicker now if you look here you're going to find a button that says create we're gonna click on create and now we are going to make us at first a multi tool there we go we have our multi tool we're gonna grab it nice now uh, we don't have enough materials let me put that away we don't have enough materials right now uh, to create the tractor beam so what we're going to do simply go and fill the box again and then we can create the tractor beam i'm gonna start my beam and you can see what is happening we are collecting the materials from there i can give it a little bit more spread you can see how the beams are opening and as long as i'm collecting everything in in between the two uh beams i'm fine and i'm gonna start slowly just moving uh with my uh joystick the ship to the down position and i'm just gonna continue collecting the rest of the materials some of the ships have parts that are not salvaging not able to be salvaged like this one so now i'm gonna move my ship to the side a little bit so both sides can work properly there we go and you can also see how your uh, storage is uh, filling up there we go we have first box full you can hear the uh, sound cue and usually you're going to get a notification like this stop with the salvaging right now because you're going to be wasting material wait for the message to go away and then you can continue and uh, fill up the second box there we go the message is gone that means we have taken out already uh, the first box and we can continue from where we stopped we have the second box ready we still need to create our um, tractor beam so we want do that right now we're gonna grab it let's take the oh okay let's store that cool everything is working though with the storing parts and everything so we're gonna put it in our tool as you can see uh i have with me some food and uh drinks if you're doing some uh, long salvaging sessions this is wise to do uh, and now we can actually start moving the boxes this is the grid as you can see so we have all uh, in total six grids and you can take them to two boxes on each other right which is uh in total 12. However, uh, what you can do also, you can start putting boxes uh, in this part here. You don't have grid here, so technically the boxes are going to be more, uh, moving or they will be just easier to move. Uh, but once you have everything full here, you can make everything here also. And then you can place a box here. And the last box, the last box that you would like to have extracted, it should be here. Don't leave any boxes inside because uh, if when you go uh, start selling the materials, this box is not going to be uh, sellable. It will be just inside your ship, right? So let's go and uh, have one more go with the boxes so I can show you how they stack on each other. And after that, I think we are done with the video. I will suggest also uh, until this work is done, uh, keep an eye on the chat, right? If you see a lot of people complaining about uh, pirates, uh, pay attention where were the pirates, where the incident happens, ask in the chat also if, if it has to. Make sure that you're going to move your 
uh, scrap and sell it in places free of the pirates, right? That's the point of everything that we are doing right now. That's where, that's why we are in the uh, Iron Belt. So let's go back down again. I found out that you're wasting more time in box removing and going down than the house scraping itself. So to be honest, I would suggest that you're doing that even in this ship with a friend because he can just stay here and uh, he can move the boxes. The second the, the box comes out, he can just move it and move it and move it. It's going to save you so much time. It's going to make your work much more efficient and you will be able to make even more money and if this friend of you it's with a extra ship for example that has a cargo he can directly moving everything into in, inside the cargo ship right so basically you can create a very very nice farming way for for, for the cash that's basically everything with uh, the process is nothing complicated uh, if you have a voucher you're in the game bro leave a comment down below if you like that video and if it was uh, useful for you a like will help also it, it, it will it will help a small creator like me you know uh, to reach more people and maybe new players also uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask also please uh, and uh, yeah let me let me know down in the comments if you're excited about a new patch that maybe it's going to come out next week maybe it's a huge maybe i hope it will be though uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.